All right, you lot. It's dark, reasonably cold. <laughs> I think it's about time we uh, try and get a little old quad bike started. Let me go and unload it, and get it in the garage, and we'll see what we can do. All right, so amongst all the unnecessary clutter, we've got ourselves. I think this is a 1998, I think it's a 98. I got it when I was around eight years old. I can remember the day now, like it was yesterday, going to the Suzuki dealer, all the motorbikes and everything in the dealer. This cost 850 pounds. I think it was either a Christmas or a birthday present. Can't remember which. I think it was a Christmas present to me, for me, mum and dad, when I was about eight years old. I remember going to pick it up, brand spanking new. It was right at the back near the tills uh, in the dealer. Yeah, there we go. Mum and Dad had a Volvo estate and we stuck it in the back of that. And that's how we got it around when I was riding it back then. I was trying to think earlier on, the last time that I actually rode this. And I think the last time it actually had a proper ride um, was around, I might be wrong, around about 2008, 2009, I think, because... 2010 I weren't really I was, I'd got my first job and I was I was 17 you know ish so I think the last time it got a proper ride was around 2008 2009 all the years in between that it sat at various places and it's been started up periodically but left to run for about 10 15 minutes and then that's that um so there we go the last time I started it was about five years ago so this has sat in a couple of different sheds for about five years. Um, I did, I put new brakes on it a couple of years ago and they're a bit stiff. Ugh. I had to uh, try and get them to work. They've not been, they've, they've not, it's not been ridden with the new brakes on it. And I've got the little pull cord for the back thing there, the little safety cord if you've got a little person on there. Um, but the actual thing I remember my dad tried to tow like a mini, I don't know what it would call it, like a scarifier thing he made to try and smooth out a load of weeds or whatever. He tried to tow it with this um, and he snapped the little plug off, you put the, put the plunger in. I got the string and the plunger and that, but I need a new plug, but there I can't find them anywhere. So anyway, enough talking about it. So I think it's about 1998, something like that. Oh, it's jammed up. It jams up when you try and push it backwards. Um, the petrol, I did have a bit of an incident with it where I accidentally put brake cleaner in the petrol tank and I run it on brake cleaner for a little while. It's got petrol in it now, but I accidentally run it on brake cleaner. I've just dropped the lid down there. Um, and it was making a bit of a weird noise. So hopefully, you know, I think it was all right after. We'll have a look. Anyway, enough chatting. Let's get you on the tripod and we'll see if we can get it to start up. Now, for those of you, there used to be, for those of you who don't know them, there used to be some little wing nuts like underneath there that hold the seat on. They come with wing nuts, so to get to get the seat off, you just undid the wing nuts. Oh, it's a shame, isn't it? Oh no, my seat's starting to perish. Look, I've kept this seat in mint condition all these years. It's a bit dirty, but I've not got any holes in it or anything. But now I've noticed that that's starting to come off. Gutted. Anyway, these used to be wing nuts, but they've been long lost, rattled loose over the years, and now nothing on there. But to get to the two stroke tank, you have to take the seat off. Oh. I thought it was tied on for a minute, but it's not. Anyway, you have to take the seat off. Um, I've still got the little original tool kit, look. Little original tool kit there, ALT. I don't know what ALT stands for, but yeah. It's just got a spark plug spanner in there and a screwdriver. And there's the two-stroke two oil. That's my little fix that I've done for that. There's the two-stroke oil tank. A lot of people, I can't get a little, a lot of people bypass that and just put two-stroke in the petrol. You know, uh, sometimes I put two-stroke mix in the petrol, in the tank as well, and it just runs a bit richer, but that's all right. Oh, look, there's that cap. So, anyway, 
what I'm going to do is just try and start it normally first. You know what? What a lot of people don't realise about these little LT50s, they don't actually have a fuel valve like a stopcock. They just they have prime and just on at a minute it's on the on position but either face into the back like that or face into the front like that that's just prime so all that does is it just flows a bit extra down there um, but no one seems to understand that and over the years I've seen people have these you know I've, ro I've ridden with people that have got these you know and at the end of the day they go I'm just gonna turn the petrol off make sure that's off they don't realize they're putting on prime there is no off that's it, there is no off. That's prime and on. Simple as that, no off. That's not a, that's not a stopcock. But um, yeah, there we go. So I've never had to use, put it on prime. I've always just left it on on. But for the sake of a bit of fun, I'm gonna put it on prime. And it even says pry on there, which is prime. So we've got petrol in the tank. Put it on prime. There should be flowing loads of petrol down in that car breaker now, even though there should be some in there anyway, because it was left on, unless it's all gummed up. And we'll just see what happens. Put a brake on. I'll run a minute. I've got to wind the throttle out, because I set it for my daughter. So I've got no throttle in a minute. By that, I mean, there's a little, there's a little screw here that, that goes in there. Oh, hello. Must be Christmas. And uh, you wind that in, and that stops the throttle, see? So, you know, you can control how much throttle you want. So if you've got a little kid on there. So I wind that in for my daughter, but I wind that back out. She never went and rode it. I set it all up for her, and then she never got round to ride in it. But there we go. We all have a bit of excitement, don't we? Let's wind that out. So we get full throttle, full power. There's meant to be a, a, a nut on the end of it. To stop it from coming out, but uh, I think I must have lost that somehow. Right, got throttle. There we go. Normally it takes a few pulls and it'll pop into life. Oh, choke. Choke's alright. Choke is now on. Away we go, my friends. <laughs> Look at that. That's about five years I sat there. Choke off. Take it outside so we don't get too smoky. That's literally been like you wouldn't you probably won't believe me that sat there for five years, would you? That rattling you can hear is the clutch. The springs on the clutch. It's a bit smoky, but that's probably because I put some two-stroke in with the petrol as well. Oh we're still on prime as well, look. Put that on the on running well though. Starting up, it's always been a good engine this one. Love it. Nice. Put a little fan on there just to blow the smoke out the door a little bit. I think really it could do with the tick over coming down a, 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 just a tad. Um, I think the tick over one was that one. Or was it that one? One of them is the air mix, one of them is the fuel screw and the other one's a tick over. I can't remember what one's what. Oh, that one's a fuel. That one's a fuel screw. Let me get another screwdriver, it's the wrong one. Tick over's a little bit too high, I think. That one should do the trick. Yeah, I think the tick over's. Oh, it's slowing down a little bit now, it's warming up. Been running for a couple of minutes now. single weekend I used to ride this for about five hours on a Sunday morning 
Um, you know, yeah, it used to be great. Takeover's come up again now. It just needs a good old run, but it got a lot of use over the years, you know. And then my brother, I gave it to my brother when he started to grow up. I've got a dirt bike, and I gave it to my brother. But then he weren't really that interested in it, so I got it back. But it's a good, it's a good quad man. Well, there we go. I think that was a bit of a an anti-climax. A little bit, wasn't it? Um, well, it's a good thing for me. That means I ain't got to mess around with it too much. And they certainly don't make them like they used to. I mean, look at this. This is brilliant. We've got a proper little gearbox that was set up there. I think with the more modern ones, you don't get, you know, it's probably not as good as this, I don't know, but yeah, love this little quad. But uh, I did actually think that it was going to play a bit more of a fight than that. How many pulls was that? Three pulls. Yeah, you lot ain't going to believe me that they ain't been started in about five years. You're probably going to go, oh, we've had that going, but yeah, made in Korea. All right, so either the whole quad or just this uh, two-stroke tank was made in Korea. I hope the whole quad wasn't. Um, would it be 1998? I would assume, I would hope that it had been made either in England or in Japan. It would be in Suzuki, but never mind. The ones before this, the older ones, that were blue and white, never had an exhaust weight on the, the exhaust weight? A bloody a counterweight on the front. And I remember they used to be quite. Um, well, they could wheelie you a lot easier. And if you weren't careful as a little kid, you know, you'd end up flipping over the back. I remember that. But, um, yeah, these these ones here, the ones that are yellow, the ones before this were blue and white. Um, and then they changed to yellow and black. From, I don't know, I think it was from 97. Some of you may be able to correct me, but I think it was from 97 onwards with yellow and black. You may be able to correct me, I don't know. But, um, yeah. So, I've actually got the manual for this. It might tell me the exact year for it. But there we go, my friends. A little bit of a... I was, I was, I was kind of hoping I could make a, make a video actually getting it running, but at least we got it started. It runs all right. And uh, we'll go on a little ride on it at some point. don't know when. I haven't got a van or anything to transport it anymore. It was all right. When I, I used to have a van, I could just chuck things in the back of it and go out for rides wherever. But uh, now I haven't got a van, I haven't got any mode of transport. Um, I have to call upon favours to get things moved around. So I don't know when it will be, but at some point we'll probably go for a little ride and I'll stick a GoPro on there. And um, we'll go for a ride on an LT50 quad bike. Don't know where we'll go, but we'll find somewhere. The next thing to start up, so I've got a couple of things left to, to, to get running now. Um, but I need to get them here first, I need to get them moved around, so I'll have to do that. But we've got an RM125, Suzuki RM125, a 1992 Suzuki RM125. I've got to try and, I've got to get that running. Um, that's been sat in the shed for God knows how many years. Um, I can't remember if I started it a couple of months ago or not. I know I got it out and I siphoned some petrol out of it. And then I, <laughs> and then I got it moved again. And now, um... Uh, I want to get it running um, but I can't remember if I started it before or not I genuinely can't remember if I did it would be in the video and some of you lot will probably shout at me and go you did start it up but I can't remember starting it up so anyway I know I drained it completely for empty of petrol but anyway I've got to get that going um, and a few other bits and bobs but um, yeah I hope you enjoyed that rather anticlimactic um, Suzuki LT50 will it run? video the answer was yes it did run anyway i'm off i've got a splitting headache because i've had a bit of a not a stressful day at work but it was stressful in a way because when people panic and start worrying about things that i don't need worrying about and you're looking on the outside of it thinking why are the bloody hell are them not panicking and it gives me a headache you know what i mean just watching people panic gives me a bloody headache i don't like it i'd rather just be things be simple I can see solutions, but they can't, and I'm like, oh, mate, get an headache. So I'll catch you lot on the next one, and all the best.